Hey guys, welcome to the Go to Game Show. Uh, this is episode twelve, and this is where Jack and I catch up every week uh, with the whole world um, the way it is now. This is the only time me and Jack actually get to see each other and have a chat and catch up on what we've been up to in the last week, go over some news, and we're joined every week by another guest. This week, coming all the way from Aotearoa, New Zealand, is the one and only Tim Provise. Yo, thanks for having me, guys. This is me. Hi. I actually didn't know whether to introduce you as coming from Aotearoa or as uh, coming from Wukanda. Oh, one or the other. Uh, I think that's kind of gone out the window now. I'm just like the bro. I'm from Clendon. That's everybody knows me <laughs> from Clendon now. So yeah. Um. So anyway, uh, what have you been up to this week, Jack? Oh, more GDA. GDA yeah. every day. It seems that's my life. Um. But I did play some more Fall Guys on Monday. Which is pretty digging fun. It. Um, stream that. Still haven't got a win. Are, are you still digging it though? It's still fun because yeah. I'm not playing it a lot. If I was playing it like every day when it came out, I'd probably like get over it after a little bit. But because I've been playing it like maybe once a week, or like if a few random people hit me up and they want to play it, like I'll play it. So I still yeah. haven't really got over it yet. Um, yeah. And I still haven't got the win yet. I still haven't got the crown. I got so oh, close catch, like three times. Catch up, catch up, bro. I oh, know. I'm on, I'm I on just four can't do crowns. It. I haven't got I'm, a single crown in the last week, though. Yeah. I, I keep getting to the last round, but I just can't get it. I, I don't know. Yeah. I just can't figure it out. The, the hexagon yeah. one, I hate that shit. Oh, dude, that's I a can't horrible do it, level. I'm slowly figuring it out. The slow jump. But then, yeah. like, you start slow jumping, and then these other guys just run around you, and then you can't go anywhere because then you're just stuck yeah. in the middle of the hexagons. Your inevitable yeah. death. Um, and then, yeah, I've been playing Raid Shadow Legends a little bit on my phone. I've been playing that with the yeah. kids, actually, on the couch. Atlas oh, the kids there. enjoying she's it, like, though. She's pressing it. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's really simple. Like, okay, you know, so you you, how, how long have you been playing Raid now? A couple of weeks. Yeah, so a couple of weeks later, are you? I uh, know that you've got a deal in place, but are you genuinely enjoying the game? I there's no deal. There's no deal. <laughs> no, genuinely... I'm just I'm just playing it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Which you are just genuinely bit. playing it. Yeah, yeah. So you're, no one's even paying it. you. No one's even paying you for this segment of the no. show today. No, no one has paid me. So Raid I'm Shadow Legends, just playing it. <laughs> yeah. So Raid Shadow Legends, if you're watching, you know we we don't mind selling out and starting the show with this week on episode twelve of the Go to Game Show is brought to you by. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind well, at all. We will be official YouTubers the day that they let us do that. Oh, yeah. Or ask 100%. us to. 100%. Yeah. You're not an official that's... YouTuber until you've got that Raid, raid Shadow oh, yeah. Legion. It's, it's coming over to Twitch now, too. I see yeah. a few people with that little, little, little Raid thing on their, on their screen. So, yeah, we'll see what happens, eh? See what happens. But that's me. Yeah. So, if anyone watching may notice that my video quality has drastically improved and mm. hopefully I won't be dropping out halfway through the show and going all robot voice because I finally, finally got MBN or for Australian people, that's ultra fast broadband. Yeah. Um, we, we had it become available about a month or so ago on our street and took a wee while, but we got it hooked up and bro, first time since I've lived in Australia where I don't have... 4G turned on on my phone. That's crazy. Oh, oh you got your Wi-Fi on at home? Yeah, just turned, just plugged into the Wi-Fi on my phone. Yeah, I've never, I've never done it. I've always had it uh, on 4G. That's crazy. Because if I want to download anything or watch something, it's just always been yeah. too slow. Yeah, true. Especially, true, especially true. if someone's playing games or watching Netflix or whatever. That's crazy. You remember last week you were saying if you were playing something, then someone was watching Netflix, like one or the other would start lagging. Yeah, yeah, couldn't be both. That's crazy. Yeah. Now everyone can do whatever they want. Yeah. Uh, so I, I had a breakup with uh, my other ISP yesterday, and um, I was really disappointed, actually. They um, didn't play along with me. So the, I did it via the chat function in the Optus app. And, oh, um, right. Okay. And I, so I was like, uh, hey, you want to disconnect? And they were like, why do you want to disconnect? And I was just like, oh, you know, I've got a new ISP. Don't need it anymore. Okay, sweet. Uh, stay on the line. We'll sort it out. And they were like, thank you. Is there anything else? And I was like, no, that's it. Um, uh, but uh, oh, shit, what did I say? Something along the lines of, hey, this has been a really amicable breakup. I really appreciate it. Uh, just know it was me, not you. I just expected too much and all this sort of thing. <laughs> thinking, yeah. I was honestly doing it thinking, this is going to be hilarious. I'm going to screenshot this chat and 
uh, put it out on Twitter, and they were just like, thank you, that's all, bye. <laughs> they didn't play along at all. Like I wanted them to play along with me. Someone's sitting so, there in their uh, like contact center and just went, shut up. Yeah, no, I've in, had that enough. Yeah, in nine months, there's going to be a little like internet baby that's going to come out and child support's going to be expected from you, Fid. They're going to be like, <laughs> you fucking bastard. Skeet, 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 all up in this ICP, or ISP, and now look. Look, yeah. mate, irresponsible parenting, motherfucker. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I've become the deadbeat dad that's le- left, left the ISP. and Yeah. 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 <laughs> My God. That's right. It was on 5G, so it's going to end up with. Never mind. We're not going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay. So, Tim. Yeah. How has your week been, brother? Uh, I know there's things you can't talk about, but that you've had a pretty fucking cool week. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's been pretty cool. Like, I've kind of like, uh, if uh, I don't know, just kind of learning, I suppose, learning the game and learning. Um, this, uh, I mean, breaking through some boundaries that I didn't think I would be breaking through, just coming from being a streamer in in my in my um, room in in Clendon in South Auckland. But um, no, nah, it's been good. I just, I mean, it's last week was my first week off um, podcasting for like the last, I think it's like, tw- I think probably like twenty weeks. Yeah. So like three three podcasts a week, and getting these guests in that are you know pretty hard to find. But um, it's been nice. I've just been cutting up stuff and um, just editing and, and getting clips on Instagram and things like that. So it's yeah, it's been it's been busy. But yeah, we've been in lockdown too, so it's been pretty. Yeah, how, how did how did lockdown treat you, right? Because you guys are in what level two point five now or something? Right? Yeah, we're in two point five, and then on Monday they'll tell us whether we're back down to two or one. Yeah. But I mean, it's not much difference. Like it's just wear a mask and yeah, like, do what you should be doing anyway. Uh, but not everybody does. <laughs> like, yeah. Pro- problem with Kiwis, bro, is we're too laid back, and it's like, oh, level two, bro. Oh, yes, uh, we, could, we could just start going out and hanging with the boys again. Yeah, man, I saw a f- I saw a photo of the domestic airport at, on bro. Monday morning, like, yeah. and it was like nobody was giving a fuck about that shit. Yeah, they were like pretty much <laughs> like in line, like cuddling up and shit. And I was like, yeah, fuck. no social distancing going on. Nah. Yeah. And there was like 200, 300 people inside the little airport, the domestic airport in, in I think, Auckland. I think the problem is, is Kiwis have had it really good during coronavirus, right? And I think because of that, Kiwis generally aren't taking it as seriously this time around. Yeah. Because you oh, guys, you no. guys, you guys rushed through that first hard lockdown, which would not have been an easy lockdown. Yeah. Um, you got through it, came out with no virus at the end of it or sweet FA virus at the end of it and just went back to life as normal while the rest of us are still working from home and social distancing and all that sort of thing. So yeah. I think because of it, you guys, not you in particular, but a lot of Kiwis have just taken it for granted, especially you notice the narrative around it in New Zealand is very heavily around. Um, oh, I haven't seen, or I don't know anyone that's died or I don't know anyone who's gotten sick. And it's like, yeah, you know, that that's, that's the same here as well. A lot yeah. of people are saying the same thing. Yeah. It's crazy, but right? I think in New Zealand, I think it's because they're just not seeing it as much as we're seeing it. Yeah, yeah. true. Very true. We only have 22 people that have died from it. Like, yeah. Well, that's probably why. Like, well, I, like, think, I think New South Wales, we're only sitting at around about 200 who have died, right? Fuck, that's but, crazy. I mean, bro, India had like 77,000 people like, and yeah. one day die from it. Yeah, and, and the US what is the just hell? through the road. Yeah. So, I mean, shit. Fuck, yeah, yeah. So, I, I think... Does sound wild, though, that you say that out loud? Oh, seven, that's fuck, seven crazy. 7,000 people in a day. I think it's 77... Oh, no, no, no. I think, no, no, I think it was 77,000 got, got, got hit with it. Yeah. Got the virus. Oh, right, but I think, okay. bro, if I look it up, it's some crazy fucking... But still, in the thousands, right? Like, yeah, oh, right. what are they doing with all of these people? Well, yeah. the thing is, in India, is they... very, people in India, they live very close to each other and they congregate very close to each other. It's yeah. a very, it's a very full country, you know. Yeah. I can't think a of, of a, better way of word, a, a better way of wording that. But it's also in the lower socioeconomic areas of India, um, hygiene isn't as good. Right. I, went to, I went to India yeah. like two years ago for mm. basketball. Yeah. And that shit was fucking trippy, yeah. Yeah. Like there's people, and this is a true story. Yo, there was a dude that took a shit in the rubbish bin. 
like yeah. I was I walked down, <laughs> I walked to go get me a SIM card, and this dude's taking a smoke on this rubbishman. And I walk out and he's like Spider-Man crouching with his little dick like hanging out and shit. Just taking a shit in this in this <laughs> just taking it in this bin. And I looked at him and he looked me dead in the eye, man. Like, what what the fuck are you looking at? And I was like, damn. And that was the my first day there. And after that, I was like, yo, I'm not going outside, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I've stayed in my hotel, bro. I'm playing fucking Stardew Valley for the next two, three weeks, bro. I'm... <laughs> That's wild. That's a wild time, isn't it? Because then you're thinking about like stuff like this and you're like, oh, why don't you just, you know, stay at home or get some hand sanitizer? But like, some people, sometimes you, that's just not even a thing. Yeah. Mm. Not in places where there's like yeah. a billion people, you know? Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. It is, 67 yeah, is, that's where my no 67,000 have died from it in india and yeah, right. like yeah total cases is 3 million 3.8 3. Oh, million right. oh so, my I mean, god so, that's, that's not, crazy right. that's yeah. crazy <laughs> like i don't really know anyone close to me at all that has even had the possibility of having it anyone well, that i know not even on twitter or anything that i've seen like obviously i'm still going to wear a mask when i go out and yeah. blah 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 which we have been um but the rock's still. got it eh? oh has he was yeah it confirmed, was it? yeah man when was that confirmed today today yeah the rock oh, and his damn. family you know yeah, the rock and he's, got, it. he's got a little oh, baby yeah, too yeah. yeah yeah he's got the kids you know if the people's champ actually can get it twitter. Said it was like they're all healthy and stuff though, so I feel like they were yeah. sort of all right. Yeah. yeah, I guess. Um, so I think next question. Well, uh, we've been through what your week's been like, mm -hmm. and we've talked about coronavirus. Let's have a bit of a dig into who is Tim Provise. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, me? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, tell, tell us yeah. what you do, right? So, um, yeah, my name is Tim. Um. Mm -hmm. I I switched I used to Twitch stream like games and stuff for like a good two three years and then you know I just kind of uh, I don't know I just wanted to change it up and then when the first lockdown happened I was like you know what I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk to people and so I started a podcast called the Provise Project and um, yeah it just kind of took off it's been it's been a cool like journey <laughs> like because you know you get to a point when you're averaging around like 30, 40 viewers and then, you know, you just feel like you've hit like a, a, a boundary and you're just like, fuck, bro, I don't know what to do. And then I, instead of having a big moan about it, like I see a lot of people do or, you know, blame everything, blame the algorithm and this person and that person, like everybody else or not everybody, but most people do. So I just go, you know, yeah, some people, I just go, nah, fuck it. I'm just going to try something different. And it's worked out for me. Um, I've had some really crazy guests that i never thought i would even talk to like i talked to like from john campbell to like mark hunt to like like i've got um a couple lined up like for next season and yeah some really like yeah i i mean gaming personalities and everything comedians it's been it's been quite a quite a cool little journey for me so i'm Could just kind of them. figuring out where i can take it and um yeah so at the moment i'm on a hiatus for a couple of weeks just uh, getting a new set sorted out and trying to and getting some like blocking down some guests that and the, co the other cool thing is bringing people to the platform like a lot of people don't even know what twitch is like john campbell had no clue yeah, that was that. amazing watching that episode because i mean for anyone who is not a kiwi john campbell's like well i was uh, i just quickly had a quick google in to see who john yeah. campbell was yeah, that, he's like a few questions for, uh, yeah yeah from, yeah uh, from the viewers today about that so yeah. yeah, so John Campbell is probably one of the most iconic news readers or investigative journalists in New Zealand. Um, oh wow! He, okay, so he's very much a for the people journalist who, yep. and he digs up uh, the dirt on, um, like the big stories and um, all that sort of thing. But he also just does fluff pieces as well. But he's like the most loved journalist in New Zealand, I would say. Yeah, um, he, cool. he's a big deal. He's a big deal to get. Like he's mainstream as fuck. So yeah. watching him light up on your show was amazing. So Yeah, and uh, I think probably the coolest thing was, like, I, like, talked to him like he was, like, just one of the bros. <laughs> like, yeah. And he liked that. He was just like, fuck, I was talking about bitches and 
like rooting the predator and shit like this. And he was just like, <laughs> God damn. Like, I was like, what would you do if the predator like, like was going to bite your dick off to save the world? Would you be cool with that? And he was like, fuck you, Tim. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he was cool, man. But <laughs> the, I think the coolest thing about it was like, like he kind of like, because I, 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 did, I like I did my research on him and yeah, yeah. I get that sorted. So he was really impressed. And then that kind of started off this whole chain of events. Yeah. And well, I remember saying to you afterwards that um, I thought that one stream in particular was so important to for New Zealand media because he's so well connected and him being able to see firsthand and then go back to TVNZ and say, hey, I was just on Twitch and we need to pay attention to what's happening over there because there's independent content creators making amazing content for free. Yeah. Yeah. And he, um, the, and the next morning when he was on breakfast, he gave me a shout out, man. Oh, did he? Was, yeah. He was, like, he, he, he was like, he was like, he was like, Oh, I think they asked what he got up to. And he's like, man, I was on this really cool podcast last night on this live platform called Twitch. And I was like, yeah. Well, well. Yeah. That's so awesome. sick. That's that so was cool. cool. But I mean, yeah. like he was one of them, and then even like I mean, I mean like Jack Tame was another one who's another. Um, Jack, hey, I thought we'd, we'd rechristen them. Oh, Jack, Jack Tommy, Jack Uncle Tommy. Tommy. But um, yeah, so he's another <laughs> um dude. But I mean, like I've got I've got some shit lined up that will like internationally, there will yeah. be some people go, fuck, how did you get yeah. that? Per-? And that's what I always get is like, how did you get that person on? And I'm like, yeah. fuck, bro, I just like reached like they watched this and. Then they were like, oh, shit, he's cool. And then, yeah, yeah. so, mm. I mean, Jacinda's sweet ass to go. She just has to wait. Like, one sec happens, then it's, it's all on. Yeah, oh, definitely. I, I can't wait to see Jacinda run. Be, I'm amazed that uh, she hasn't come on as part of her campaign. Yeah, well, when, when Chloe did, uh, yeah. th- then she hit me back like, oh, she has to wait. I, I mean, all the COVID shit. Yeah. Uh, she said after the after all the, the election and things like that, she'd she get she'd, she'd come on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's what, mad. So, that's so cool. So Chloe, yeah. Chloe Swarbrick. Chloe Swarbrick, who he's talking about, is a. Yep. I feel like I feel like I'm the New Zealand translator here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, Chloe, no Chloe Swarbrick is a uh, member of parliament in uh, New Zealand for the Green Party, and she's most well known for being uh, the MP in New Zealand who OK boomed another MP live on in parliament on TV. Oh, really? Yeah. She was the first to do it. Yeah, first she hit okay just Boomer. straight with OK Boomer. Yeah, she's there. That's her. Yeah, she's there. Yeah. And she went That's viral so everywhere afterwards. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah. So having but her uh, on. She's a big deal. She's she. That girl is going to get voted on. Oh yeah, she was a bit taken back too. But that's the thing with me is like you. You know, you talk to me and you think. Oh fuck, he's a, he's a hoary fella from South Auckland, like you know. And then I hit her with the, "What do you reckon about the treaty?" And the, you know, yeah. how do you think the treaty, you know, in terms of education? And then she's like, "Oh, okay, now we're talking." Yeah. So yeah, and I mean, like I had like Brox on, and we did a Minecraft mod eye. That was amazing. Yeah. yeah I've seen that. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And I mean, like from Laurie to like Solid Gifts to like, yeah, heaps of heaps of really random yeah. people. Notice he's not saying Fid McAwesome. He's not saying. Oh yeah, well that was on that was on season one. His best guest was Fid McAwesome. (laughs) The show Pete. (laughs) That was that was season one. That was a little bit different. I think wasn't I the week before John Campbell as well? Yeah, yeah, you were you were my tester mate. Okay, I'll give give you that. (laughs) (laughs) It's like yeah, Fid McAwesome. Hey, this is also being on the show. John Campbell. Everyone forgets every interview that was ever on the (laughs) Compromise Project. Oh shit. But um, yeah, 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 and then on top of that, I'll do the bakery runs on, um, which has been pretty cool. Some content on uh, Instagram and YouTube around bakeries. Bro, and I have know. to tell you, I've had to stop watching the bakery run. Bro, you can never stop, brother. I can bro, never I, stop. I, bro, as a Kiwi that has no choice but to not go back to New Zealand at the moment, like I am stuck in Australia. So Jack, like you probably need to have a good pie, okay, mate? I'll yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. You you've never had a good pie unless you come to New Zealand, mate. Well, you right, know what? Up. I had the chance to have a pie in NZ when we were over there for Armageddon, but I yep. just had dinner. Yeah. And then they went oh. and got pies. And so, I'm not yeah, a big was, eater. But no, no, no. So if, it's, if it's dinner, hold up, hold up. So dinner would have been at nighttime. You would have had the pie like at like nine, eight, eight oh, nine oh, o'clock. Oh, oh, oh. So it was, mm. this was about, it would have been mm. about nine, ten o'clock. You got to have them in the morning, bro, when they're fresh. 
Yeah, so right, it was okay. me and it was me and Haz who went down to the Maccas from our hotel we were staying. Okay. At. Me and Faze Haz. Like, uh, let's sum you up, bro. I got you. Yeah. Okay. And okay. the only only place where we I'm could down. get a pie because I hadn't had a pie in like a year and a half, and um, was from Maccas. Oh, oh, you mean a Georgie pie? That didn't count, bro. Oh, bro, it was Come miles on. ahead of any Australian pie, bro. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, but yeah, yeah. So like, I do a um. Uh, me and my friend Will, we do a, uh, a fortnightly show called The Bakery Run where we go and um, we t- test pies out. We go to a bakery and give them a shout out. And yeah, so um, it's and, and you, you, had, you had That's an so MP sick. on the show before she was announced as being an MP. Who's this? On, what, um, no, 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 no. On um, Bakery Run. Bakery Run? And you sure? said one of the chicks that walked up to you and was talking. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> nah, she's like, oh, that was when I pulled the Crips sign up. That one. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Nah, nah, nah. So she, uh, <laughs> Jack's like, fuck, this guy's interesting as fuck. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> anyway, like the uh, runs and shit, MPs, the Crips and shit. <laughs> nah, so like I, in the first episode, I ate a pie and this chick came to me and she was like randomly like, Bro, what are you guys shooting for? And I was just telling her, oh, yo, this is for this, this is for that. And then, like, two weeks later, she's, like, running for the National Party. So I took a photo <laughs> of her, and I was throwing up the – because she was all blued out, and I was yeah. throwing up the crip sign, and it got, like, a lot of attention. And yeah. she hit me back, like, oh, how could you do that? That's fucking – you know, like, I'm trying to – and I was just like oh, – Did she joking. actually do that to you? She hit me up, yo, because when I was pulling the C sign, and I was like – Yeah. And then she <laughs> – because she's all blued out, and I was like, oh, this will be <laughs> fucking awesome. Yeah. So I pulled the C's and then, uh, yeah, and then she hit me up on Insta. She was like, hey, listen, um, could you take that down, please? And I go, no. <laughs> I go, uh, nah. And then, and then I, and, and then I sent back a photo. That's right. I put some red uh, stuff on and I pulled the bloods up. Hey. Bees up all day. And I did the one where you, you know, the one, hey, Finn, you know, the one where you do the, right. this thing? Yeah, oh, I did that. The... I pulled yeah, the bloods. Yeah. Because bloods, bloods don't fucking back down from any fucking crips. No. <laughs> I don't care if you're a national crip. I don't care. C's up. I'm, I'm B's up all day. No. La- Labor B's up. Fuck it out. <laughs> what is so, going on here? Rose Street, bitches. Do you, know why I love, do you know why I love catching up with Tim? Is Tim reminds me of all of my mates back home. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> And the funny thing is, is uh, not, I don't know if many people actually know this, but Tim's Fano, Tim's family is from, from the same, same hood, place. same hood I'm from. Oh right, okay. well, not Harwitter though. That's that's a that's a little bit too uh, that's a bit more hood for me. <laughs> <laughs> that place is a little bit too racist for me. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah I live yeah, on the yeah. brown side of Taranaki. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Anyway, that was funny though. Oh my god. But now nah, she's she's trying to be an MP, but I don't think she will be. No. But um, yeah, and then we have man, we got some good guests coming up. We had uh, Pax Asadi, who's a um, who's a amazing um, comedian. He's a real good comedian. We got Joe Joe Damon coming up. So we sometimes we take um, guests, and uh, we got TJ Pedinara coming up. Oh shit! Dropping a little bombs there. Yeah, we have to. Well, oh, he's coming up. We got a we got a film. Yeah, yeah. You know, due to the other one you need to try and get, bro, is uh, AJ Upper. I get this all the time. It's isn't it KJ Upper? It might be come KJ. On, come Upper. on, come on, Boomer. Come on. Bro, I don't I don't I don't watch the youth TV. You know who bro. you should get? Fucking Marilyn Monroe. How about bro, who's that? <laughs> fucking hell? No, I'll tell dude. you that Charlie Chaplin. I fucking I'll fuck with him. Get oh, him bro. on the podcast. Bro, you, you want a you want a good Kiwi guy, bro. You need to get Billy T. James on the show. Fuck. I'll tell you who you need to get. It's fucking Helen Clark. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Bro, she would probably be an interesting interview, to be honest. Yo, we've got a fin- – and, and I can't tell you the finale, fin, but the finale for Bakery On, for episode one, is going oh, to be top tier. I have Top tier. When's that out? Oh, man, we've got another five more episodes to go. <laughs> so <laughs> you're going to have to wait. But, yeah, it's um, – I'll be looking you're gonna forward to, to it. You're going to have to link me. You're going to have to link me all this, and I'll put yeah, it in the description of the YouTube video. I've yeah, got so. you, bro. You'll love it, man. Yeah. It's great yeah. show. Amazing I'm show. I'm down for the pyrons. Let's but, yeah. do it. Well, if anyway, that's not I'll... a selling point for people to come and follow you and see what you do, then I don't know what it is, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, yep. shit, man. I, I thought my shit, my uh, Indian um, uh, story about someone shitting in a, in a fucking bin would get me enough followers, mate. Yeah, shit. there is that. Look, there's a lot. Sign me up. There's a lot going on. A little, there little is a dangling. Lot going on. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so how did you get into streaming in the first place, bro? Well, I just thought I was funny, bro, to be honest. And then um, and then I started, and then like I wasn't funny. Like I was like, this is not funny. And then <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then I tried like I tried to be like everybody else. And then I met this dude called Mess, and I met this dude called Squirt, and uh, they were just hearty moldies like me. And then I was just like, yo, fuck, that's me. I'm just going to play like this. And then, yeah, then I got a little bit of a build up, did a little Ric Flair buzz. And then, um, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, just kind of got stale, I suppose. Uh, I don't know. I, I felt like it was just everybody was just trying to, trying to go with the brass ring. You know what I mean? Like everybody's trying to reach for the same goals. And yeah. um, I, yeah, probably like the last year, I've just been like, you know what, I'm just going to change my goals and go away from that and try to, you know, the long form uh, content like uh, podcasts mm. will last for ages. So 100%. yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to do. Um, and then moving over to Instagram a little bit more has been really, really uh, beneficial. And I've met a lot of people that have opened a lot of doors. Uh, in terms of um, guests and opportunities, mm -hmm. which has been really cool. Um, but yeah, I've got a very unique kind of New Zealand sense of humour, I suppose. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I hundred percent agree. Like, um, yeah. yeah. First, first time I watched you, funnily enough, was actually when you did some work for us for a charity. Oh yeah, that was fun. So uh, when we did the uh, after the uh, tragic shooting in Christchurch, um, yeah. was it the start of last year? Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah, 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 it was too. Sure. Um, we ran the Adelha for NZ fundraiser for the victims, and you came on board for that. And your timing of when you came on was so perfect because it was, you know, when you do a 24 hour live stream, Jack, you just get to this point where energy of the viewers is starting to drop and yeah, um, it's starting to drop off a wee bit. And Tim came on, and his energy level was through the roof when he started. Oh. So um, it brought back all the viewers, right? All the viewers' yeah. energy just came back up. They were all active again, and it was hilarious. Taking the piss out of me, and we'd never even met in person. <laughs> but it was yeah. awesome. It was that hilarious. was fun. That was good fun. I mean, me going into that, like, just thinking, bro, it's for a good cause, and also, like, you know, like, I, I kind of had that thought process as well. Like, you know, people are, have been watching all day, some people have and then yeah just to and also to do something different like i think on that stream i played a game for like four minutes and the yeah. rest of it me was just doing fucking zany wacky shit yeah. but not in the but but wait, but not in the ways of being like oh fuck if i get that da, 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 i'm gonna fucking skull this fucking yeah. bottle of fucking tequila or some shit like that like it was like a yeah <laughs> you, yeah 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 and it was yeah. uh it was cool it was yeah. cool yeah, and no, I remember just being super impressed with what you were doing. Oh, it was different. Yeah, it was different, and that's what I think is what makes someone stand out in Twitch at the moment. Because, like you said, at the moment there's so many people reaching for that brass ring. Like, sh there's more brass rings on Twitch than there is on TV or any other medium. Mm. Um, so it is easier for a lot of people to be able to get successful on Twitch. But to be able to stand out is very hard. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you're going to jump on, play games, talk to chat, do the same things that everybody's sort of doing. Um, and like Jack and I always we'll always share with each other at work when we see something we've never seen before. Like, um, remember the first time you showed me that dude who did those dances every time he got a mm. subscriber? Yeah. It was just amazing. I'd never seen anything like it, and I still yeah. remember that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, anything different will 100% stand out. Mm -hmm. So what do, you, what do you enjoy more, bro? The game streaming or the podcast? Oh, fuck the podcast, easy. Because all I do is just talk. Yeah. But, but I, I like, I'm pretty strategic with this shit, yo. Because I was like, how can I <sighs> see? Like, w when you game stream, um, it's there, it's live, boom, it's done. Yeah. You know. But with the podcast, I kind of get like five different pieces of content out of it, and I fucking loop the cow as much as I can with that piece of content. Mm. So. Yeah. I have the live stream, which people come, and the point of difference is they get to ask questions, they get to be part of the conversation, and, yeah. you know, that's that's how they get, oh, shit, oh, yeah, me, and I can ask a question to John Campbell or someone like that. And then, you know, there's a podcast, the next thing, I take off, and then, yeah. you know, I transcribe it, so it's like a piece of uh, work, like, you know, some, some, some text. Yeah. So that's another one. Right. And then I, then I clip them. 
So I have, you know, from one podcast, I'll, I'll have like 10 little clips and, yeah, yeah. you know, those are buffered up for uh, once a day for, for until next year. So I yeah. always have content on that. And then the other one is just like, yeah, just um, on the Patreon. Mm. So I've gone away from like all that and I've just moved all my shit over to Patreon because, yeah, I can, I have a little bit more flexibility around what I do for the people that support me. Yeah, as opposed yeah. to just here's an emo and, and look and you, can you, sell, you know? and you can sell your nudes on there too oh fucking hell i got feet pick galore yo like <laughs> yo feet pick friday no no i don't do that shit but yeah so like <laughs> but you could i've kind of could. <laughs> yeah i could hey i'm in control i could do that shit but um yeah so like it's um it's it's kind of like i've seen okay if i just do this and i i, I just and i get into a habit of once i finish the podcast I cut it up as quick as possible. I highlight it and I sort all that out and put it in my Google Drive and then buffer it. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So that's why I think I am because I, I mean I'm 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 being a little bit more productive with my time yeah. on on Switch. I'm 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 streaming for two hours, then I'm cutting for another hour, as opposed yeah. to me just doing four hours of just me playing the game. Yeah. Yeah. That's Which so. I feel that. Feel that yeah. big time. Yeah, like, just trying to be Twitch efficient. Do. Twitch with the highlights is actually real pretty good, especially yeah. if you've got it set up the way you want it, so you don't have to it's do too much editing. Underrated, too, eh? Nobody uses Big it. Big time. Yeah. 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 And that's I have really like good. my mods. Especially for my YouTube mods videos. Are in there highlighting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, real. That's mad. That's mad. Yes. Especially with like some of the GTA stuff. Um, a lot of the guys that I guys and girls that I follow uh, that do YouTube videos, they'll like do a heist or plan a heist or something. They'll just highlight from like when they started planning it to like wherever the ending is. And then obviously mm. you, you, you cut it up and you make it shorter, a bit more exciting, but just, just being able to grab like 25 minutes of footage, just bang, bang, export it, premiere, whatever you use. Yeah. It's so sick. Yeah. And even exporting it straight to like, for me, I, I have uh, like, I'll, I'll clip when, when, cause you know, when you get it and it gives you different things. So I'll clip when I start and when I end, yeah. And then I've gotten this habit also of like clipping as soon as we start the interview, I'll ask, who are you? And then when you say whatever you say, I'll clip it and then you'll see. Yeah. And, and if you watch it, I'll, I'll go to there, like I'll go single shot and then I'll clip it and then I'll take it straight off and chuck it on Instagram. Yeah. And ah, okay. then, yeah. And then they'll see it and go, Oh shit. Tim's live now. Boom. And they'll come in. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, that's sick. Like, that's clever. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. And I've got like uh like, yeah, yeah. So like I'm not on stream. So, like you just see me like fuck, blah, blah, like fuck, yeah. fuck, 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 all these go, and then because Instagram's a bit shit because you can't do it on uh, on the computer. I've got to get it on the um, on the phone. But yeah, it's... oh, you can you can do it on Windows now. There's a Windows app on for Instagram. Fucking yo, really? Yeah, are you that, doing you stories or are you doing? I'm just doing thing. for that. I just do the normal posts. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so the Instagram you... app, Facebook. You do it through oh, Facebook. Facebook. It's, oh, it's there called, we go. See, I can called, do it through um, Buffer. Yeah, yeah. Now this one's oh, called uh, Create. It's called the Creator Studio. So yeah. all you go in there and you just click Create Post. You can do Instagram feed or Instagram TV. Just yes, click sir. feed, and then you can just choose the Instagram account. You can have whatever Instagram account you want that you oh, obviously yeah, have thing. access to. So you, hey, that's yeah, how I do all the go-to game stuff as well. Put your captions oh, in, a... location, tags, add yes. in your content, videos, photos, whatever you want. Man, and this, and this is what we do at GoToGamers. We're helping All the content, content creators create, studio. create better content. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that'll, that'll be easier because then you don't have to, yeah. you know, chuck it on your Dropbox or your Google Drive and find it, export it, all that bullshit. Yeah. Do it from so, your yeah. computer. Click publish or you can schedule it as well. Straight schedule away. Yeah. So you can schedule shit in there as well. Yo, dope. I'll get that easy. in there, shit. Yeah. yeah Make yeah. sure it's easier for you. But like, yeah, so that's me. Like, I've been, I found it's more efficient. Like, I'm a ball. I like being efficient with what I have. And, you know, especially when you got like kids and you got shit going on in your life. If I could, yep. I just stream for two hours, well, six hours a week, pretty much. Because you've still got a day job as well. What? Right? As well. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, like, that's, and it's a fucking in there one. And then, like, it's always, there's always stuff going on. So, yeah, I got to be a little bit more efficient with my time and, and, and try to, you know, squeeze squeeze the juice out as as easy as possible, and yep. yeah, that's how I that's how I get it done. So yeah, it's fun though. Back. It's fun talking to famous people, like you oh, know, you're well, welcome. New Zealand famous people. No, no, no. I mean my <laughs> podcast, but not, oh, I don't mean, oh, oh, 
yeah, yeah just so. <laughs> I mean, I I'm actually, actually I only mean Jack. I don't know. <laughs> so Jack. Uh... <laughs> All right. So this is usually the segment of the oh show where we God. jump into the news. Um, yeah. And the first piece of news I really wanted to get Tim's opinion on, and it's Twitch ANZ have announced that they are supporting Te Wiki or Te Reo Māori, uh, and they're going to be uh, spotlighting um, uh, Te Reo Māori and Te Ao Māori uh, content creators. Hmm which is huge. It's a massive deal. Uh, an international um, big platform actually supporting um, Te Wiki o Te Reo Māori. If you don't know what Te Wiki o Te Reo Māori is, it's a week in New Zealand where uh, it's raising awareness and use, youth, yeah, use of uh, Te Reo Māori, the Māori language. Um, and the, the entire point of it is trying to normalise and bring back uh, more people using the New Zealand's native language. Mm -hmm. And the fact that Twitch is actually actively wanting to be involved is huge, huge deal. YouTube's never done it. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. Well, what, what are your thoughts on it, Tim? Um, I mean, yeah, bro. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm all about boosting the reel. And Jack, just a little, just a little background on this. Okay, so, you know, like, uh, so Te Reo Māori was the was the, the the native language of New Zealand, yeah. and uh, then um, colonization happened, and it got like pushed out of the schools. So like uh, there forcefully. was a rule, like, like like forcefully, like kids would get smashed if they spoke it in the in their school. Yeah. Oh wow! And, yeah, yeah, and like this a, went all the all the way till like the thing. 30s or the 40s. Yeah, right. Yeah. For hundreds, for a hundred years, pretty much, just about just under a hundred years. Yeah, so yeah. when there were schools, there was none, and then they got rid of all the Maori schools. They got rid of every kind of everything on TV or media or radio or anything. Yeah. Newspaper was just English, and uh, so that's why it's 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 quite a big deal. Yeah. But like, that's um, I mean, like a, a big just deal. just yeah, interrupt right. you, yeah, just awesome. interrupt you here though, Tim. Is the the other element of the whole colonization and people being forcefully told that they could not speak Te Reo Māori in school is those people who were in that era then grew up telling their kids not to speak it because I... they didn't want their kids to be treated like that. Yeah. So then you ended up with generations after that that did not encourage Te Reo Māori to be used because it was forcefully done years and ago. It's and not like they forget. learnt it and then just knew when they could speak it. They just Well, in some cases, that's exactly... In some cases, it was that. Like, mm. there were definitely people who were teaching their kids um, mm. Te Reo Māori, but it was you speak it on the marae, you speak it at home, you speak it with the aunties or whatever. But yeah, uh, that's the Outside only place of speak. the family. If you if you're going shopping uptown, do not speak Te Reo Māori. You're going to offend some fragile white person. Yeah, that's wild, eh? Because yeah. I I could speak it until I was around four. Yeah, like that's all I spoke. So so I I lived with my nan. Uh, and that's all we spoke was Te Reo Māori because my mum was up in Auckland. I was down in Waitara and uh, she was training to do her thing. And so when I came up here, I went to school in Manurewa and there was no Māori. Like, is, we, would, we didn't get a hiding. I mean, I wasn't at all, but we didn't get in trouble if he spoke it. But like, you know, I was kind of seen as the dumb kid because I didn't know English, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like, wait a minute, no he's from else. New Zealand, but he doesn't know English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it's, it's actually funny. I've always thought that's a really ironic opinion because there's still an opinion at the moment that people have is that Māori are dumb, hmm. right? It's 100% racist, but this is really, there are, there are people that have that. that opinion. There are people that have that opinion. Like, um, I know there's the jokes of like, you know, the Kiwis coming over and stealing the scaffolding jobs and. Stuff yeah. like that. Oh, no, but no, we're we're like... one we're one hundred percent doing that though. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you say know, that to anyone and they go, in those mines. "Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent." Yeah. We're in you, Perth in the mines, boy. Yeah, we're yeah, in there yeah. getting them cash. That's fifty dollars hour job. Bank, yeah. Do, do you know what New Zealand's number one export to Sydney is? It's Maldives. No, bounces. Yeah. So yeah. So like, I mean, like back to the back to that. Like, um, that's why it's um so important. Yeah. Um, total good support, uh, Twitch and, and stuff like that. I really hope that they get like, like actual, like some really, really good content creators that aren't just like, yeah, your prototypical ones. Like, a, a, a Brox took off and he, he, he shined the light on, on, on us as, as, as Maori and, and 
you know, I talk to the bro on the regular and he's the man. And uh, and it's really cool that he he, he did that for us. And, uh, you know, we're forever in, in debt to some oh, of the stuff that he, he did. Oh, definitely. I, I, I've publicly said this a million times and it's uh, Brooks has done more for Te Reo Māori and Te Ao Māori than any of the New Zealand media. Yeah. Like he's, he's reached a global level with teaching people about New Zealand and mm. Te Ao Māori. Mm. But, uh, you know, like, um, I mean, and I, and I hate to use this word tokenism, but mm -hmm. there is like, a, and I'm just being devil's advocate. Don't yeah, yeah, get yeah. me wrong. I love that they're doing something. I, it's the platform that I came up on. I'm Maori, and it's cool that they're doing stuff. I'm like that. But there is also like this kind of like, and if hey, if anybody from Twitch is watching this, I'm not. I'm just being the, you know, just devil's speaking advocate. the other side. There is a level of tokenism, you know, and it's like, you know, I think tokenism is like something like someone doing something to avoid any type of criticism, which isn't that one, or to give the appearance that, you know, that, that people are being treated fairly. I think that's what tokenism is. And like, yeah, uh, that that is seen from the other side of things. It's like, well, you know, the bro Brocks came along and all of a sudden, and, and Amy, and Amy does a great job. Like yeah. Amy, I think Amy's probably the catalyst to why we why we're having it. And yeah. you know, to talk to her, she's oh, you know they, that's did it, awesome. they did it last year though as well, didn't they? No, I'm this is the first time they did. This is the first no. year. No. Oh right, I did. Okay. I have approached like I, I approached a couple okay. of people around doing when I because I did a whole week for Matariki. So yeah. Matariki is like the Maori New Year, so it's like yeah. right, you know, okay. Chinese yeah. New Year. Yeah, yeah, it's the Maori yeah. one. You you um, love, love this part of uh, Matariki, Jack is. Um, uh, the star constellation of Matariki, it's a star constellation that comes mm -hmm. around a certain time of year, is uh, also known in Japan, uh, oh no, Korea, is Subaru. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, it's, it's exactly the same constellation. The star. Yeah. Oh, right, the star, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's got a different That's name cool. in New Zealand. Yeah, yeah right. So in, in those stars, each star represents something for the new year. So one would, so like, one might be, um, or like, uh, the fish in the in the in the ocean or the fish in the rivers and they all had and the the brighter that star was the more uh that you have to prepare for the year so it, it's it's matariki telling you oh there's going to be more fish you need to get more fish fish yep. uh, some more nets like that stuff back in the day and so yeah so i did something uh yeah i i, I that's when i did with brocks and josh kirkley and and we did some astronomy stuff but yeah like um no i just i I, awesome. I i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. Really it's because cool. I yeah. think back to like when I was growing up, like going through school and stuff like that. Um, I don't know whether they do too much these days, but um, with the Aboriginal culture in Australia, we had a similar thing called NADOC Week, and it was yeah. probably very similar. You know, you just learn you know, all about yeah, the so culture, learn all about you know how they caught their animals and how they lived, and just kind of just everything. Um, and we used to have the local, I guess, tribe. You would say, yeah. I, I forget the, I forget what the, what the name was. Um, yeah, mob, mob. I, yeah, I'm really too sure exactly what it, what it would be. But um, they would come down and they would, you know, do uh, show off like you know their paintings and you know obviously their body painting as well and do their mm. dances and whatever it may be and show off their um, mm. instruments and those types of things. And I think that was really cool. Like thinking back to that, I remember them doing it at school and like every year they would come around and they're... all throughout. But. As a Kiwi that's come over to Australia, the thing issue I have with NADOC, and I think it's cool, it's an awesome step that they're doing, but it all everything that uh, happens in Australia when it comes to Indigenous Australians and um, the education that they do always feels really, um, like you were saying, tokenistic. Yeah. It always feels really tokenistic and really surface level. And, yeah. Um, it always feels like, to me, and like I said, this is as a Kiwi living here, uh, that Australia is like 20 years behind New Zealand when it comes to uh, how Indigenous people are treated, how they're represented, and how uh, the culture is taught over here. Um, I do think it's awesome that stuff is happening, though. So don't yeah. get me wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. It's like You need these steps in place to be able to get mm. to like where New Zealand is, where the language and the culture is now being celebrated and being normalized now. Like in the last five years, we're starting to see Te Reo Māori and Te Ao Māori being normalized. It's not abnormal now to see a company release 
new branding where they've got this is our logo plus they'll have um a translation in Reo Māori of their name really that's not cool. unusual now that's really yeah cool. so uh, i mean like like i said i'm devil's advocate i'm uh, but i'm i'm very i'm very happy that something's happening and i i really do hope that they um they really choose uh, no, I don't want to say appropriate because I mean every Maori is that's on Twitch is, yeah. is is doing a great job, but somebody that can represent uh, a, 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 and um, yeah and just put forward. I'm, I mean, yeah, uh, it'd be really cool to see some newer ones and somebody that actually and also like ones that actually speak like fluent Te Reo Maori yeah. and also putting like kupu ho in there like like new words yep. and things like that. That would be really cool to see, and I, I'm looking forward to seeing who who gets selected. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I think it's important to have a good mix of people that are fluent and only speaking to Reo Māori, almost yeah. like uh, embracing Mahuru Māori and just say, only going to speak to Reo Māori for the month or whatever. All right, that would be great. Yeah, that's awesome. But I do think you still need um, those people that are doing a mix of English and Reo Māori because that's where the people like Jack are going to come in and learn. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You're going to come in and learn and not be scared away by content that's completely in a language you don't understand. I, I think back to what uh, Te Wananga Aotearoa did last year with um, uh, the guys at LPL with that Fortnite live stream. Yeah. So that's what I was did, thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Russ's one. So they did the, li- they did, uh, the Fortnite live stream. They had a couple of esports players who were fluent in Te Reo Māori. And then they had Amy, who does not speak Te Reo Māori at all. Very basic. Um, basically what we were taught at school. Yeah. Kia ora. Kia so ora. I'm Kia ora. so so next um so because two weeks is uh, two weeks or two or Maori, mm-hmm. and because I'm working with Ross, uh, they've got this um this par wars thing. So Jack, yeah. like a par is like our castles. It's pretty. They're pretty bad. Oh, okay. they're pretty yeah, yeah. Right. So, they're pretty mean. So like, but he's doing like these par wars on Minecraft between like like different ones. So I'm commentating and helping him out for that one. And oh, just uh, yeah, and being like, oh, oh, we do, we got this going on. Here's the hungy pits. Here's this, you know. Here's the urupa and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, 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 yeah. So like, like, because that's through the that's through the uh, Te Wananga or Te Roa, so like the yeah. University of New Zealand for, in yeah. Maori. Yeah. And um and yeah, so like yeah, that's uh, I I found for me, I was like, well, I would rather kind of like you know, if I'm gonna get in there and, and get some help from somebody that knows the deal and, and is fluent because yeah and then you know helping bring people yeah. in and get oh, eyes on that well watching amy last year learning uh kupu or words during the stream was amazing like i've i've actually been in conversations with her since that stream that she did and she pulled out the uh the car uh karawe and all that sort of thing i mean yeah yeah that's mad you know, and, she, and that's she's like just dropping it in um... A few of the streamers that I watch are from Korea, like Korean streamers. Yeah. And I guess it's the same thing. Like, for the most part, they're predominantly just speaking Korean. And I understand it, like a little bit of it. Um, but then, like, when I talk in chat, they'll speak in English to me, where the oh, rest oh, of the chat's cool. in Korean. And then they'll be like, oh, hi, Jack. How are you? Like, how, how blah, 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 whatever. Yeah, cool. And then, like, I'll be replying. And then some of the people in chat that know me will, like, start mm-hmm. writing in English in the chat. And then I can talk to yeah. them. And then they'll, like, switch back to, like, Korean talk to everyone yeah. else and then like the, the caster or the streamer will switch back to korean to talk to the rest of the viewers and stuff so yeah, yeah, yeah. i think that's that's cool because i'll still watch you yeah know, whatever i hope one day and i'll get it but yeah i hope one day that the, i don't know what we're talking about but the <laughs> language like like te reo maori so a maori language will get to that point you know where you know there'll just be someone speaking and then you know like you'd come in hey jack kia ora, come on in blah, 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 blah. and then yeah. Then we're back to Switch you know back, yeah. back to speaking. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be, but, cool. Uh, yeah, that'd be very cool. Because yeah, that's I, what I yeah I enjoy a few of the Korean streamers. But yeah, that's kind of kind of similar thing that I would love to see. It'd be cool. Cool. Yeah. Really hey cool. Jack, did you did you get the link I dropped to the other story that I dropped yeah, in last yeah, night? Yeah. Yep. 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 All right. So I want to go back to what you were saying. We were talking earlier about India, uh, Tim. Oh yo. Um, some news literally just dropped uh, yesterday about India banning uh 10 cent games and the big one being um PUBG, PUBG mobile is now banned in india that's wild so this is all um 
based on the uh, tensions, political tensions rising between India and China at the moment, they've already banned TikTok in India. Yeah, right. Um, okay. Which uh, my wife was actually uh, telling me about um, uh, some documentary she watched the other day where uh, Indians were really hit hard when TikTok was taken away because it democratized content over there for them because um, because of the socioeconomic issues in that country. Um, it's hard to be a YouTuber in that country and not everybody can be on TV. You've basically got to be of the elite class to be able to be on TV and things like that. But TikTok yeah. democratized being a content creator for them because all you needed was a smartphone. And any, yeah, anyone that has access to it doesn't matter. Yeah. Either. yeah and and even, those people that were, even those people that were just um, uh, watching content, yeah, you know, it was a happy part of their life that they were able to do during the day and that's just been ripped away from them. Mm. That's crazy. That's um, so crazy. But yeah, on the back of that, now PUBG's been taken away and it's yep. much like exactly the same situation um, because not a lot of people over there have gaming PCs or a PC capable of playing playing video games like PUBG. A lot of the video games are all played on mobile. PUBG mobile, yep. yeah. Yeah, right. And PUBG's huge in that country. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's just been stripped away. The government's gone, no, crazy. we're not supporting China. Gone. That's crazy. It's going to be interesting to see if um, uh, Fortnite comes next because Tencent is also involved in Fortnite. Mm. Um, true. Very true. But yeah, yeah. I, I, I just thought that was an interesting piece of news, that one. that, and we got, I think we're definitely going to see more of this happen too. Yeah. It's getting oh. pretty wild. Pretty yeah. wild where, yeah, that can just uh, that can just happen, right? Yeah. The, porn, the porn hubs are banned in there too, I heard. Oh, yeah, somebody right. told me somebody told me they had to get a vpn in their hotel room i don't know who that was but <laughs> <laughs> but it is it is it is it is it is banned guys okay so if you're going to india okay get their vpn sorted asap <laughs> but um man my, my um my twitter got fucked up when i went to india Oh really? So I went over, yeah, man. Because I went over, it was linked to like an old email that I didn't know. Because I used to be just temporize, yeah. and then, um, yeah, and then somebody thought that I was uh, hacking it from old India, obviously. And then, um, yeah, I, I I couldn't get back into the Gmail, so I had to start a new email. Sucks. Holy shit! I, I have That's had a wild. similar thing happen to me. Yeah. It was my uh, bad though. I had a similar yeah. thing. I my email. When I went to Taiwan. Um, I think it was. I think it was my Twitter, actually. My Twitter was on an old email address, and I had to yeah, fuck try and reclaim it. Luckily, I knew people at Twitter that helped me out with it. But, um, yeah. Oh, I come been, on, I come on, Fid, sort me out, mate. You know? <laughs> nah. Oh, you I actually, a whole new it, Twitter. It, yeah, but I, it actually oh, it shit. actually helped me. I, I, I actually, th it, was a, it was a gift in, dis uh, in disguise because, like, I was, uh, like, a big basketball, like, like Twitter guy. And, like, I had, like, I think it was like 800 followers, but they were all like basket. Like most of them were like dead basketball accounts. Yeah. And so right. when I started again and I was streaming at that time, then it just like kind of transitioned all the way over to people that were interested in streaming and true game and content creation. So it was, it was all good, but it's yeah. yeah. Weird. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. So I say it's, so anybody that asks me, I say it's stuck. It's locked in the Punjabi prison with uh, <laughs> the great Kali. Hey. The great, <laughs> Right. Uh, what other news have we got, Jack? Well, the next one is the NVIDIA releasing their new GPUs. 3000 range, 3000, whatever you want to call it. The 30 series, I, sorry. I the 30 series. I honestly never, didn't even watch the announcement for this. So you're going to have to fill me in on everything, brother. Fucking rude. Rude, <laughs> rude, rude. But um, yeah, so they've got the, uh, the 3070, the 3080, and the 3090 in the uh, in the new 30 series um the cards are monsters like fucking massive the 3090 yeah. old mate uh pulls it out of the uh out of the oven and he was holding it like this like is it, it was, seriously that big bro it's crazy like i've got a pretty big like case and like it'll fit but it's like a couple of inches longer like an inch thicker like it's wild it's a wild yeah. card but and, the and pricing it, it, is and, and pretty it's black, reasonable right? on most it's of the black. cards. Uh, black and silver. Yeah. So and and so it's a big black card. So it's a BBC. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Ja. Man in der VPN for you, ne? Oh nein. <lacht> Ja, kann ich sagen. <lacht> Anyone um, in India that wants a new car, they might need a VTV. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, they're actually really cool. They actually look Price-wise, really, really cool. Price-wise, it looks really pretty cool. good, though, too, eh? Mm. Yeah, like I like it. Um, I haven't really looked into too much of the yeah. like specifics and the Terra Flops and the Terra Wangers and the Terra Dongle Wongles or whatever they fuck they're called. Ooh. But they got all this crazy shit. Um... But yeah, they're talking like two times faster almost across the board for some of the cards. And like the cheapest card, I think is the 3070, is like more powerful than the 2080 Ti, like the current wow. 20 series, 2080 Ti. And Shit. to get it here, it was um it was actually it's actually pretty cheap. Um it wasn't. I think I uh I, I tweeted it yesterday from the GoTo game. Yeah, yeah. So the 3070 in AUD is going to be $809. And it's on par right. or if not better than the... Uh, yeah, it's faster than the uh, than the 2080 Ti. You reckon that's going to be cheaper than a PlayStation 5? Probably. See what I'm saying, man? Probably will be. That shit. You know what I'm but saying? Then you got to think about the rest of the PC cheap. build as well. But the oh, I mean, if you already have one. The 3090 is two and a half grand. Ooh, but the 3090 is like it's a 24 gig card yeah which i think the these cards now are like maybe the 2080 ti i think it's a 10 or a 12 gig so it's like double jesus <laughs> it's they're wild they're they're wild cards and it's gonna be uh it's gonna be pretty insane to to see what people could get up to with these so but yeah just the build quality and the, the way they look with a, a couple of different Ways they got the fans running as well, the way the cooling runs through the system as well. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. So, yeah. that was just something I'd, I would, I, I know a lot of people have been holding out for. I know people right now that are currently mid build on brand new builds and they were like, oh, should I get a, you know, this white limited edition 2080 Ti? Should I wait? And I was like, oh, I'll probably, I'd probably wait a eh, just to yeah. see. And I'm glad they did because now mm. they can spend a little bit extra but get a car that's two, three times better. And look, and, and the investment on a card like that is going to last you yeah. another three oh, yeah. years. You get the 3090, uh, like, fair enough yeah. if you want to upgrade next year when the 40 range comes out. But Yeah, like, but you, if you can't you afford to, to, you're going to be fine for a few years. Oh, hell yeah. 100%. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the 3090 supports like up to 8K gaming. They, uh, they, did like a, they did like an ad and they had um, 8K gaming. They had some uh, content creators come in and play on the new... Um, LG TVs, 8K TVs, or what LG or whoever it was, but um, yeah, yeah, they were playing in like apparently like true 8K, which is which is pretty wild. So, yeah, yeah. there's that graphics yeah. card, graphics cards, yo, that's what we're talking about. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about and what I I actually saw was um update for Fall Guys, which I think is okay. pretty cool because I know we've talked about this a few times about um the season whether, two is it. Whether no, no, no season two. Maybe it might be. I'm not really too sure. But about whether there's, you know, this is going to continue trending and yeah. continue being the like phenomenon that it is. And well, it's the number seems one to be. game, number one game on Twitch now. Yeah, they're calling this Crazy. big like hammer thing the big Yeetus, and then straight away, <laughs> big Yeetus was trending on yeah. Twitter. Like yeah. it's wild. Like these guys just tweet random shit and it just like yeah. starts trending oliver the guy that runs the channel oh it's crazy he's amazing, isn't he? they're at 1.4 million followers now yeah they're just like quote tweeting retweeting all the you know stuff from the community they, they are a class act and uh a, mm-hmm. a lesson and ha- how to run a social media account and community management yeah it's incredibly well done incredibly well cloud. done yeah so yeah. There you go. Um, that's uh, that's coming soon. I don't know about um, season two or whatever, like that, whenever that's coming out or whatever. But yeah, I just saw that was pretty funny. I just saw Big Yetus, you know, was trending in video I'm games. Down. So that was pretty funny. I'm down. That was pretty funny. Yeah. Yep. Um. So this uh, Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator, amazing game. Um. Everybody who's anyone has pretty much given it a go on Twitch mm-hmm. in the last couple of weeks. Some yep. been amazing streams as well for it. Um, but uh, a big uh, patch coming out, and you were saying here, Jack, that they're actually advising people just to 
remove the game from their PC and reinstall from scratch. Yeah, yeah. I've never and heard of I've never heard of anyone do this. No, nah. and it's not a small game either. This is like no, a hundred and twenty gig game or some shit, right? Shit. Yeah. I haven't installed it because I would have had to delete all the games on my computer to reinstall it, and I couldn't be bothered. Um, yeah. But yeah, they were saying pretty much like here they were saying. Um, that the instructions for a clean install, they've given you like all the instructions for a clean install and developers strongly advise players who experience problems installing the game to wipe it completely and do a complete reinstall. Shit. For, crazy. Yeah, like the first big patch. And uh, from what I was reading, they haven't really, uh, there's no like standouts in the patch notes of like actual fixes to the game for like some of the small bugs that people were, that people were experiencing. Yeah. So people are like a little bit confused about what the what the full patch notes yeah. actually have they, are. Then they're changing they, like some of the times and stuff like that. Are they removing the Melbourne obelisk? Uh, I haven't I haven't seen it in here. I'd have to go yeah. through it all. Yeah. But, um, have, have you heard of the Melbourne yeah. obelisk? Uh, yeah, I've seen it. It's pretty funny. Eh? No. So in, in the game, they had this one building in Melbourne that for some reason was like 220 stories high. Fuck. Oh, yeah. I did. I have seen a photo of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was way taller than it should have been. Yeah. And yeah, there was all these jokes calling it the Melbourne Obelisk and all that sort of thing. Hmm. There's been a few of those. I've seen a few pictures of like around the globe of random shit that's just like heaps massive. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I just know a lot of people are uh, into the Microsoft Flight Sim right now. So something to look out for. Might have to reinstall your whole damn game, which is pretty wild. Um. And then the last one I, I thought was cool, um, Pokemon Go. Does anyone still actually play that? My wife still plays Pokemon Go every single day. Wow. Really? Like she oh, loves damn. it. She, she's going out and doing raids and she does the special events and she's chasing yeah, right. she's chasing all the rare Pokemon Man. and yeah, she is loving it still. She's yeah. been off it for about a year or so and yep. she got back into it and plays it daily. Yep. Because they're doing a, uh, I got a community day this month. I think it was the uh, the twenty seventh, cool. and um, yeah, they've got like porygons and shiny porygons and stuff like that, which are which are going to be a little bit more, you know, lucky to to capture one of those. Sorry, it's uh the twentieth. The twentieth yeah. is Pokemon Go community day. It's all about the porygon right now, so which is kind of cool. So apparently, there's extra evolutions and there's a one time purchase. It's still pushing purchases in game. You can get Pokemon coins and all that shit um so yeah that was pretty cool people are going to be hyped about hyped about pokemon go so there you go but that's about it for the the news portion i didn't really see much else out there at the moment yeah. which was which was too wild so yeah but that's exciting because it means that uh, the next portion is the community questions for tim oh yeah Ooh. that's what we're talking about let's go I'll grab these over here yeah so this is, we, we put a tweet out uh, every week for whatever guest we have coming on the show and ask them, do you have any questions for our guest? And uh, we have, your community has asked us some guests, uh, asked oh. us some questions. Shit. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. So the first one comes from Connor, Connor O'Fee. It says, if uh, one country in the world was safe to travel to right now, uh, where would you go? Um. Connor, just a backstory on Connor. I used to, oh, Connor is, he's the, he, oh, he's, he's one of the big guys at uh, Basketball New Zealand. That's how I know him. He, oh, he travels around. So I've traveled the world a little bit with Basketball New Zealand. But yeah, um, right. if I had to choose, I went to, I, I did go to, I went to Japan in November last year. Yeah. But, but I went with my kids, man. And it was, they fucking ruined it, man. Straight up. <laughs> Bro, kids, your man, your tweet up. your tweets when you were in uh, Asia were hilarious. <laughs> yeah, nah, fuck those kids, bro. Straight up, nah, yeah. <laughs> straight up. I've had enough of this. One. Nah, um, but I'll probably go back there. But like, just with the bros or like a, one of the bros, like just go and yep. get. Fuck, there was so much. Like, you could just go in and pay one. Like, there was a place, man, and it was like oh, I can't remember how much it was, but it would have been around forty bucks New Zealand, right? And it was like, all you can drink, they just give you a timer and they say, you can just drink whatever you want, have a feed for like 40 bucks. And it was like, yeah, I would go back there just for the food, to be honest. Mm. Like the food in Japan is just like, fuck everything else. Like, mm. and I'm talking about the garage food, the stuff that you have and I'm, uh, at the servo, at the fuck servo, mate. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, that's, 
See, I'm international with mine. There you go. Look um, at him go. Yeah, mate. Yeah, <laughs> fucking. Yeah, yeah mate. Uh, yeah, mate. Fucking comma. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you got to do. Um, but probably probably Japan. Uh, if not, yeah. I, I, I love New York. Like, New York is my, is my spirit place. I've been there like okay, okay. times. I love New yep. York. I wouldn't go now, but like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. when I have safe. gone, if it was safe, it's been, yo, and I did take my kids and I left them with my missus, yo. I was like, I'm gone, peace. I was gone for like <laughs> three days, bro. And they're like, where were you? And I was like, man, the city never sleeps, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would be my one. Connor's yeah. there. Tim, Tim's like, the city doesn't sleep, bro. It was amazing. Fuck. <laughs> I was straight. Yeah, I saw some things in the subway. Gee, I'll never fucking forget. You know. <laughs> oh my god. It's a gr- it's a very very good place to get like um like stories. Like fuck, I saw someone. Da 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 da. But yeah, and probably just for the basketball aspect of things, for New York City. But yeah, that would be me. Yep. I'm gonna sweet. Get Japan. Yeah. All right, we got yeah, bro, Chad, hitting us with best guest you've had on that wasn't John Campbell. Um, oh, and man, he's got a good, he's got a, he's got a second follow up. And then, uh, who would your, I guess, top five guests be that you would like to have on the podcast? Um, best guest I've had, other I'm than gonna... John Campbell, probably for nah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I was probably, um, Jack Tang was quite entertaining. Um, he was, he was another one that was like, holy fuck, like, I'm. I don't know what I got myself into here. Like I was yeah. pulling up like old shit from his intermediate and like, and he was like, fuck, how did you know I like to play handball? And I was like, bro, I know, I know everything about you, G. And he was like, <laughs> he was yeah. a bit worried. And then I go, this is funny. I go, bro, give us, give us the, give us the lowdown on sleeping in the nude, mate. And he was like, fuck, how do you know I sleep in the nude? And I was like, I've been watching you. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> but like legit he does sleep in the nude he said it in an interview one time so i brought it up uh probably yeah, him that's mad and um oh and probably oh man there's a couple that were were close to that um i had an interview with a dude called itty itty he used to run security for like international people that came to new zealand oh wow and the stories he had were like fuck like yeah, he had some good stories. And he was a bouncer in Auckland City, so he's seen a lot of things. Um, and my five my five Rushmore guests, uh, yeah. Stephen Adams, Taika Waititi, um, uh, Israel Adesanya, uh, Tom Scott, who's a rapper in New Zealand, uh, mm. that used to be in Homebrew, and uh, Jacinda Ardern. So those are my five. That's a solid mm. list, bro. Yeah. Wow. And then after that, LeBron, The Rock, <laughs> Fit Mac awesome. Uh, yeah. It would actually be amazing uh, to get the rock names. because every wow. every single Kiwi in the world really knows that, knows that the rock lived in South Auckland for a bit and is his cousin. It's everybody's cousin. Yeah, it's him and John I'd, I'd love, yeah, 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 yeah. I'd love to hear people actually tell those. Oh, and now Taika Waititi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, would, yeah. I think um, Uncle Bully would be pretty mean. You know, oh, the bully Jack. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Have you seen Once Warriors? No. Bro, oh, bro, you gotta watch. Oh, bro, Once New Zealand's Warriors. favorite rom com. You'll love it. You gotta watch it, mate. It's my All life. Right. It's it's All it's right. it's it's South Auckland, and it's a story. It's a it's a romantic comedy about two two uh, budding budding uh, Maoris that uh, love each other but kind of don't love each other enough. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a it's a great. It's like Romeo and Juliet, but from the hood, mate. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but. Uh, Uncle Bully is a uh, uh, he, he's a character that uh, is Cliff Curtis, who is a um, who can play any actor. race, who plays yeah. every race in the world except for Maori, usually. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> but no, I'm only joking. It's a, it's it's a pretty hard watch to be honest. I'm sorry, it is a difficult mm-hmm. watch. It was it was a really seminal moment in New Zealand cinema when that movie was released because when it came out, it that was New Zealand's reality at the time, and it portrayed it very very bluntly. No apologies at all. And where it was filmed was like right around the corner from my uh, my school, my school man. Like, yeah. I was like, hey, I've been past that house all the time. That's where their pub is. So yeah, yeah, so, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But all those right, would be my five. I get fit to send it to me. All yeah. right. Um, no hands hits us with how did you get so much information on John Campbell? So um, he he's done. He did three podcasts. So I religiously 
because I knew I had a week before I knew he was coming on. So I would listen to his those three podcasts every night. Or one, you know, like every night I'd listen to it one and two, and I'd just keep listening to it. So I have that in there. And then I went to the, then I found his yearbooks from high school and I went through that. And then I had a friend who was at school with him, but didn't really know him. So then I was like, okay, give me like, what's the best things at the tuck shop and like what happened here. And then, you know, then I found out things like, you know, that he lost a speech competition and I brought that up and he asked, how did I know that? And yeah. I was just like, well, fuck, I'm supposed to know that. It's my job yeah. to know that. Shit. It was amazing though, watching That's this mad. guy who was an That's investigative really cool. journalist jump on some Twitch streamers interview and be yeah. investigative journalist. Da, da, da. Yeah, I got him, man. He stuttered oh, quite a lot. Like he, he was like, oh, oh, nah, nah. Yeah. Was like, how did you know this, Tim? Yeah. yeah. That was probably one of the buzzy ones. I've had a couple of those interactions where I'm like, he's like, fuck, how did you know that? Hmm. And you know, like I just I think I just have an like my thing is I've got an opportunity to to shine here. Hmm. So I better do my research and shine. Like yeah, yeah, not I'm... just come in like, yeah. Because I do see other people kind of resting on their laurels when it comes to interviewing people. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, Jack, can I take the last question? Yeah. All right, so, last question. Yeah. Have you heard of the Predator? You understand what the Predator is, right? Yeah, I do know the Predator, yes. Do you know who the Predator is? So, the Predator, you're you're, you're out in the street, you're doing your thing, and the Predator all of a sudden jumps out, does this weird noise, and... No, you have to, no, you have to do the noise. I can't do the noise! Do it! Like this. (laughs) Thank you, yep. Yeah, and uh, he telepathically communicates with you, right? He got it unlocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. He t- telepathically communicates with you, and he's like, <laughs> "I need you to help me, Tim." Okay. Yeah, you can save my entire planet. Yeah. Yeah. Good. But to do this, I need your seed. <laughs> <laughs> so Jack, so Jack's probably like, "What the fuck what is the going fuck on? Fuck is going this on?" This is the this is the last question I ask my guests. And, oh, and they just like right. what the f- and whether they're whether they're fucking like like I'll ask anyone like yeah and they and they're like <laughs> yeah um so I, this is what I would do Finn okay yep. I would tell I, I would look deep into the soul of the predator and I would think I'd say hey predator I'll let you take the seed of your gentle with my with my with my appendage and then I would slowly take the appendage out. One inch by inch by inch by inch by inch by inch by inch. I would take it out. All right. <laughs> and I would say, help yourself there, Predator, but be gentle. And then the Predator would, would slowly uh, take take that seed. Take it out. And then, um, yeah, I, I'd do it, man. I'd be like, yeah, go for it. Just don't tell, just don't tell my missus. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell my missus, all right? <laughs> all right. Hey, um... So th- that's the end of the show. Um, anyway, what are we all looking forward to in the next week? Ooh, I haven't even looked, to be honest. I haven't even looked. I have no I've idea. Got some- I'm just going to play some more GTA and yeah. also some Raid Shadow Legends with the kids on the couch. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking I'm looking forward to going for a drive in my new car over the weekend. Yeah, oh, the whip. Yeah. Yep. If I finally, after after a few years, I've uh, finally become a legal driver in Australia. So we bought a car and I'm going to go driving. That's, yeah. that's my weekend. Three, Tim. Drop top, I'm, drop looking, top. I'm looking forward to Tony motherfucking Hawk, man. Oh, I true. am. Yes. I'm looking, yes, I'm looking yes, to go, yes. I'm looking to go e-pro, e-pro sports. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm in there. Sign me up. Anyone. I'm, I'm yeah. free. Uh, if this, yeah. yeah. I'm, I played Tony Hawk religiously for like, my whole high school years. So it'll be cool. And then uh, NBA 2K comes out on Fridays as well. Yeah, there's only a few days away, yeah. So, yeah. so get at me, Piers, my G. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> well, called out yeah. live on the Go To Game show. No, no, no. He's, he's, oh, yeah. he, he said he's going to hook me up. But like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but we all know Piers. Man. We all know <laughs> Piers. Is he, though? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'll check my DMs because the motherfucker shaded me. It's <laughs> left the bro on scene. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god! Uh, I, I do love me some NBA, and the Avengers game comes out. That, that looks pretty interesting. So um, I'll see how that is. But yeah, sick. Hell yeah! All right, so where can everybody find you online, brother? Uh, me, uh, t- t- uh, the Provise Project on Instagram, which is where I'm mostly, 
and then uh, supervise NZ now since the Punjabi prison and 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 the great Kali has my old account. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Randy Orton. Help me out here. <laughs> um, and then um, and then Patreon.com forward slash the Provise Project. Holler at your boy. Pay my bills, motherfuckers. That's <laughs> I don't have bills. Yeah. I'm trying to get another mic. So thank you. Yeah. And that's <laughs> hey, th- thanks, thanks heaps for coming on the show. It was awesome. Um, uh, I always love uh, when we catch up, bro. So it was awesome to be able to do this on video and yep. sh- share our conversation with Jack, <laughs> who looked very confused during half of it. What? Yep. Well, you got to you you do a bit of job. Like I feel like Come I'm on. more knowledgeable now. I'm more knowledgeable. Okay. I know what's Give going us a on teats. Here. Give us a teats, Jack. Just say the word teats. Teats. Yeah, teats means to masturbate in Maori. Oh, fuck yeah. So <laughs> hey. if somebody's a wanker, you call them a teats. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. So right, you've, just learned, you've just learned your first there kupu for um, uh, to wiki or to right. real Maori. Oh, second one is rax. No, no, no. That means... Uh, teats your raho. <laughs> second one is... No, I'm not going to say that. Okay, right. yeah, but no, well, thank you. I don't you. know what's thank going so on. So I'm just going to translate <laughs> in the comments, and then I'm okay. getting fired from work. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, then I'm going to eat teats and all day by teats. myself. Teats, 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 all day. <laughs> so, teats up on that. And that thanks for coming on the show, Tim. Uh, thanks to everybody who <laughs> tuned in and uh, got to learn a whole heap from Tim. Um, yeah. you, you can follow me and Jack online, of course, uh, at Fed McCawesome on everything for myself, at Jack Hutto uh, on everything for Jack. And you can yep. follow Go to Game online on Twitter at go to game uh, on Instagram at go to dot game. Um, also on Facebook, you can look us up on there, go to dot game. And uh, you can check us out on our website, www.go to dot game. And of course this show is uh, online on our YouTube and Facebook every single week. And um, feel free to share it and tell your friends about it. And uh, if you want to come on the show, uh, reach out to us. We're always looking for uh, someone else to join in me and Jack's uh, weekly meeting. Oh yeah. So. Woo. Thank you for tuning in. Cheers, peace. Cheers. Go get your teats on. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs>